Charlie Couchane here. If you'd like to see how I put these beautiful corbels under my pass-through from my kitchen out to my lanai, stay tuned and I'll show you how I installed them. Many of our friends have come and seen our house in Florida. We have this beautiful lanai and pool and a really fantastic pass-through so that we can pass food and stuff from the kitchen out here, which is really nice. Now we did do all new granite countertops a year or so ago and when they installed them, they put these brackets down here which aren't very attractive. They're functional and they hold the weight, but they're not very attractive. So my goal today is to replace those or cover those with these vinyl. And you can see it's hollow. So my goal is to put it, make it fit just like this over those brackets so you don't see them. So that's my project for today. Let's get started. Okay, before I put those new vinyl brackets on here, the first thing I have to do is this is gray. <laughs> I'd like to paint this white to sort of match those vinyl brackets. There we go. That's one coat done. Okay, when you're using any kind of polyurethane or oil-based paint, anything, and you, you do multiple coats, and you have a couple hours in between, what do you do with your paintbrush? I don't clean it out completely. I wipe out as much paint as I can, then I get some saran wrap, and I completely get the air out and wrap it. Like that. And that will keep the paintbrush from drying out, at least for two, three hours while you're waiting for the first coat to dry. Then you just take it off and you can keep going and you don't have to worry about cleaning it. As you can see here, it sticks down too low here. So I need to cut off at least three quarters of an inch there. And this depth sticks out here. So I need to cut off three quarters of an inch there too. So I need to get cut three quarters of an inch off of both edges. Um, so while the paint's drying, let's go into wood shop and do some cutting. and that will be what will actually engage and hold this on. So we have to now take these pieces, break them apart and notch them. So let's do that next. Okay, 
before I can attach these corbials that I've all they've cut just to be perfect see it's inside there and just inside there but the only way to hold them on there is with these brackets I made all right these will go like this and like this they not only center it but it gives me something to nail into into the sides so this I can um, staple with my staple gun to this and glue this one I can't because it's into the obviously into the granite so I have clamps ready so I'm gonna glue this one and clamp it and then just glue and staple this one so let's do that Okay, it's time to do the final install of the corbels. First thing I'm going to do is a little bit of glue on the inside edge. And put some brads in, staples. There we go. Okay, the last detail is the white silicone caulk. I'm just putting a little bead on there just to fill that hole. Putty knife. I'm just taking off the excess. As you can see, it totally disappears. Perfect. As you can see from these pictures, these came out spectacular and look much, much better than those ugly metal brackets. See ya.